Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be doing my episode review for the latest episode of Fear the Walking Dead, which premiered last night on AMC. Uh, please be warned, as usual, with all my review videos, this will be full of big, big spoilers regarding the most recent episode. If you are not caught up on Fear the Walking Dead, I advise you not keep watching or listening to this video, and if you are caught up, please keep watching and listening as I hope you will find what I have to say informative and helpful. You have been warned. That being said, great episode. This was a really, really exciting, spot-on episode. I loved it. Um, the opening scene alone, clearly it was the uh, wedding reception that was being held in the hotel where Madison and her group had found refuge in and they had made commentary on how somebody was throwing a wedding because of the crumpled uh, wedding cake so obviously it's a flashback and i just i just loved how it all played out and then i had a feeling the hotel manager or the woman who was trying to take care of the wedding party was gonna have a big part in, in uh, the episode and sure enough she did uh what i really liked about it was like during the you know the 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 father uh bride father and the bride dance or no the man was actually was he dancing with his wife or with his daughter the bride well the father of the bride collapses has a heart attack and then of course immediately turns biting his daughter right in the face as she's leaning down to either give him mouth to mouth or listen for him breathing panic ensues for the whole reception hall and the woman and her hotel employee decide to quickly slip out and barricade the doors not allowing anybody out and i'm like damn talk about containment i mean jeez louise i was i was very surprised and i thought that was a hell of an opening scene that was like probably one of the best opening scenes on this show yet and it didn't even feature any of our mains what i also liked about it is that i don't think travis is necessarily trying to convince chris that the world is going to return to the same i think he's more trying to convince himself Obviously, he wants the best for his son. He wants him to be safe and wants him to remain a good person. But Chris is slowly going down that dark path, which is the main reason why he and Travis splintered off from the rest of the group um, earlier on in the season. And now I think Travis is slowly starting to realize that the world is changing and things will never, ever be the same again. And I think he's just in a state of denial about it and he just wants to keep that belief going for his sake and for his son's sake. And if he's not trying to convince his son of it, he's trying to convince himself. You know, he was reluctant about joining this group of armed men they happened to stumble upon. And I think their only saving grace why these three guys didn't shoot him and rob them of their stuff is because, you know, when Chris stumbled upon them in the first place, he did in fact save the leader's life by, you know, uh, grabbing the walker that was about to bite him or just warning him in general. So I think that might be the only thing. And then surprisingly, instead of their instead of their interactions becoming increasingly more tense throughout the episode between Chris, Travis, and the three new guys, the three Americans they encounter, Chris starts to assimilate and get along with them really well, which was surprising because I'm like, oh, well, in most situations uh, like this that have been on The Walking Dead before and on this show, you know, people don't usually hit it off that easily or that well. Uh, after they meet new survivors, but Chris seems to be fitting in just fine, which is probably what worries Travis in the first place. Uh, and then I also love how, uh, you know, we meet uh, our hotel manager has survived in this hotel all along with her employee, who turns out to be her nephew. And then there's a the whole thing where the survivors of the wedding party who have survived, who survived that little outbreak, uh, have managed to stay in the hotel, but they've taken Hector hostage and they want access to the hotel in exchange for him. Alicia promises to help her. And then there's a great scene where they open up the wedding hall on the uh, wedding guests as the walkers pour out and uh, for a second there I thought oh my god did they kill Madison but nope it was just a female blonde walker who looked a lot like her and I think we saw we all felt that same uh, sense of relief when we see it on Alicia's face and sure enough oh thank god Strand is okay and Madison Hill <laughs> were in the room and now they've uh, been rejoined by Alicia and their two new allies and hopefully from the promos of next week episode we will see 
uh, how Strand and Madison made their glorious escape and uh, stood down against the walkers. So that'll be exciting to see how they escaped from the bar. But this was a great episode because we had two really interesting stories going on at the same time. Obviously, it kept cutting back and forth. But we saw Alicia and Elena trying to cleverly um, outmaneuver walkers and keep them in, uh, contained within the hotel. Uh, Elena was an interesting character and hopefully we get to know her more or they may kill her right away. Uh, we saw Chris and Travis uh, have uh, you know a lot of screen time together before they encountered the armed gang of three Americans. Uh, you know, it's kind of you know I kind of wanted I just I found myself shaking my head at Travis at his sentiment I'm like, Travis, I get it. You don't want the world, you don't want the world to uh, keep going into the apocalypse, keep going down this spiraling shithole that is the apocalypse, but let's be honest here, you've got to adapt. Chris at least seems to get it, but unfortunately he's going down this path of darkness, and it doesn't help the fact that he was the one who shot the farmer who wanted them to get off his land in the first place. You know, they find this farm, they think it's abandoned, they see these freshly dug graves and obviously somebody buried their family members and Travis tries to explain that to the guys as they're trying to steal all these chickens and the farmer shoots one of the gang members and then when the farmer gets shot I think I thought it was the leader uh Brandon you know kind of the creepier one of the three who shot the farmer but no it was Chris who had been given a pistol and you could just see the like Big, the biggest look of disappointment and fear in Travis's face where Chris looks a little relieved and it's almost like he's he almost like got off on it almost like I did it I did it you know so uh, it'll be interesting to see um, how things uh, turn out for Chris and Travis how long they stay with this group of three Americans and uh, if Chris will indeed become our Shane, so to speak. Those of you who watch Walking Dead know what I'm talking about. Maybe he'll be our next major character death or fatality. Hard to say. But overall, very entertaining episode. I really liked this one a lot more than I liked uh, the last one. Although I still liked the last one, mostly because it featured uh, Strand and Madison uh, you know, talking in the bar, having some lighthearted moments, and then some heartfelt moments as well. But this episode was great, too. And like I said about this whole season so far, is that each episode continues to get better and better. Which means the season finale will probably be the best episode of the whole season. <laughs> Who knows? But it's exciting. I like it. And I hope you guys liked it, too. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode review here on The Edward. Don't forget to subscribe to, for more reviews like this one fear the walking dead premieres every sunday night on amc check your local times for show for showings uh also don't forget that tonight please tune in back to this channel for my review and reaction to the zoo season two finale which premieres later tonight on cbs so uh check your local times when that premieres it's probably on right now as we speak and i'm gonna watch it because i have it on recording and uh yeah, and uh, so I'll be watching it, and then I'll uh, tune in immediately after I've watched it to let you guys know what I think of it. All right, guys, have a great rest of the night. Thanks again for stopping by, and until next time, may the Force be with you.